Y'all, I am back. I'm literally back. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I decided, well, child, I don't even know where to start. Well, these are the pen brushes that I'm going to be using for this art thing. And I'm using Liquifex Professional Heavy Body Behind Paint. This is actually the three only paints that I will be using for this concept. Um, these are what they call acrylic paint, girl child. I don't know where I got I, I got these from Christmas last year actually. Um, these are actually actually well, nice good paints I'll be using. Um, dang, this thing going by fast. Anyway, so let me just go ahead and get to it. I was actually going to do um a story time, but considering ain't no telling. <laughs> so um yeah honestly this is i actually give this painting like a actually a holiday kind of type thing because honestly i don't see how when people think of art uh when people think of like christmas they think of like the red the green and the white honestly i believe that all colors fit like a holiday theme it all depends on like what you're using to, like what concept you're going to you know what I mean. So what I mean by I'm saying like it depends on what you're drawing or what you're painting, what you're trying to create. So I'm actually giving like an ombre kind of like a little fade, like, you know, from like kind of like a dark. It's almost giving you like a sunset type, if that makes sense. Um, These and this is actually like the first time I'm actually using Liquifex. I actually got it from Michaels and honestly... To be honest, it's actually almost like a review. Like, hmm, what do I think about using it? And all that type of stuff. But honestly, it's just thick. It's like, dang. Like, when they mean by body, they talk about put it on your body to cover it up. I'm like thinking, like, what is this? It's honestly, I just, I, I, all I have to do is just use, like, a little bit of water to it. I don't know if that's how you're supposed to use it. But um, considering I'm, like, ready for, like, a professional quality paint i was like, okay let me go ahead and get this honestly the whole kit of the liquid face as you can see like down on the right i wasn't trying like this is like the first time when i was trying to like know how to use the camera and i didn't zoom it so of course you can see the liquid fix on in the other oil paints on its rack but honestly the whole kit of those paints i think they came in 12 they were actually like what a hundred a hundred dollars and <laughs> I, my thing is, was it worth a hundred dollars? <laughs> but usually I get my paints from Walmart and <laughs> listen, I don't know. I actually regret getting paid for Walmart. The one, the ones from Walmart, you know, those like 70, I don't know how much they cost, like 75 cents. Like, man, those go crap. So of course it costs 75 cents. So, but honestly spending, a, I, I, I'm, I'm guessing I'm going to need the Liquifex paints in the future. That's what I'm guessing because right now I'm in college and I graduate. I should get my AA degree next by the end of next spring semester so this so next spring will be my last semester so i can get up out of here but um honestly i really think i'm going to use it for future references and honestly i i only use a little bit like i barely use a squirt of it so i think these bottles from these liquid fits are very long lasting so right now i'm actually <laughs> oh sorry yeah i was like what the heck girl look like cut your professor girl anyway so um oh and it looked like mayonnaise on that too girl i'm just getting a little bit hungry but honestly i'm actually using i don't know what you call this tool but i'm actually i actually love it it's honestly like i'm trying to give it like a little marble look you basically having fun with it just being free there's actually no rules to it i mean probably the only rule i would give you is like just don't use like colors that's going to lead to making it into a brown but this is honestly like i got so hooked up on i don't know i just watched videos of like people actually doing it i was like oh this is giving me like a little marble style so i was like okay let me do a half of that so we have like a little fade out so now i'm just going into crap yeah i'm basically like trying to blend trying to blend in between the ombre side and the marble side that's what i'm doing with this paintbrush um remind you in order for the marble side to dry you have to use a blow dryer 
or use the next day i had hit back to this painting after what i hit back to this painting actually today and the, how long i started like when i started i think i started like what three days ago and then i finished it today honestly it really didn't take much all i had to do was you'll see what I, all i had to do but um yeah this is actually the finished product i had to let it dry my behind I was talking about some all right come the next day ended up being three days later no we are back now this is tip from today um <laughs> listen i learned how to zoom what you gonna call it i learned how to like adjust the camera so now i like it this way and the lighting is a whole lot better um now i'm going in i actually had put in actually burnt ombre which is basically brown and burnt sienna i think that's how you say it and usually i actually mix up to make the branches i mixed a little bit of the burnt ombre and the sienna to get anyways it almost cut off anyway so i'm mixing a little bit of that just to get like not a light brown but just on like a good enough brown a realistic branch color so what i don't okay yeah so anyways um dang should i just talk about my story shoot well i'm talking about what i'm gonna be doing let me go ahead because y'all already get the drill this is i'm actually doing this is actually listen this may look kiddish to you. <laughs> this may look like, oh, this is all she do? <laughs> Lies, bro. We not even finna go there. Y'all, this is actually, I'm actually doing, I'm actually starting off as like a begin, like a painting for like beginners. I'm actually want to start doing that just to like actually get comfortable into like what I'm doing. And I have my, um, objections, how you say it? My, um child whatever so um dang man what the yeah so i didn't want to head off to like the like the hard side and all that type of stuff but honestly i just got finished with finals i actually got finished with my painting one class honestly the painting one class that crap was easy the only thing that i knew that was going to be difficult and my crazy self was really going to think we was going to use acrylic paint which i'm actually using no oil the first time i was actually using oil at the beginning of the semester i was like what the heck is this i have no idea how to use i didn't know nothing about no minerals mineral spirits i didn't know nothing about no liquid effects i didn't know nothing about some tree century linseed oil i ain't know nothing about that i didn't know how to work it i didn't even know what it was for so our, t our professor like he just shoot he ain't even explain he just thought that hey like you'll figure that yourself hey i don't blame the cat so i ended up looking up like what is liquifex for liquid is that a mosquito i know we ain't have little critters in there what the heck is that bro it's always something anyway so what i was saying oh yeah so Honestly, at first, from the very beginning, I hated oil paint because it was so thick. I'm like, why is it coming out thick? And it was like, okay, use a little bit of uh, mineral spirits. Mineral spirits is also for like trying to clean off if you made a mistake. Um, yeah, please. Uh, what else? Uh, using it for actually to thin out the paint a little bit. You can also use Liquifex. It's actually like a jelly type. Um, it's like a yeah it's like a jelly tight liquid to like make the paint more flexible like any like an acrylic paint would and ever since because honestly the all the assignments i did i think it required like i think we did like six paintings out of the whole class honestly and i i got an i got an a in the class so eh so i'm happy about that um but yeah but by the time i was done with the class i was like bro i love oil paint i think oil paint gives more of a it easily gives more of a realistic look than a freaking acrylic paint like acrylic it gives me like this it, it's it's starting to give me the kitty uh the kitty vibes from acrylic paint but from an oil paint it's giving you that old-fashioned style if you look at like the renaissance styles and all that type of stuff i was like perfect so now I'm actually getting Q-tips to wrap around together. I actually got four Q-tips. And all I got to do for the for the trees and the leaves and the 
flipping of the flowers. All you got to do is dab it. <laughs> That's all you got to do to it. It is nothing to it. I mean, shoot, I don't know how anybody else make the leaves. Like, I guess they get their little paintbrush and they little do to do. But how I do my leaves, bro, and the oil, and I guess this is, this is nothing new. You just get the freaking Q-tips and you just dab in the paint and you just hit it like it's no tomorrow. And it instantly hits, it turns into like a tree. Honestly, it, it turns like into a realistic tree. But I use the dark first because it represents like the shadow behind and then then you got some of the the snow man stupid mosquito i know what what is that anyways so that's all it is it's really not in that heart again i'm starting off small so i can feel comfortable and move my way forward um i'm actually going to be doing another seasonal holiday theme painting it won't be trees it'll be a surprise it'll just pop up because you do you know why it's a surprise because i don't know what i'm gonna be painting next so um this what made me so mad i'm basically at the bottom i was adding like a little bit of petals and a little bit of snow at the very bottom i'm actually putting yeah that's what i was supposed to do but it didn't show that i don't, I don't know why it didn't show that again because i was going to do tutorials because I'm hopefully in the future I'm going to do tutorials or just time lapses of how I do my nails and all this type of stuff so this is nothing but like a test to see how good I'm doing and see how I enjoy and I actually enjoy this I really do <laughs> and it's that ring light I just got myself a ring light I had waited not waited but you know how you have to buy some things that are important and this this is a necessity Bare necessities, simple bare necessities. Forget about your fatness and your yeah. So then I'm adding like some of the snow to the side, you know, get some little snow pills, a little lean with a rock with it. I don't know what I'm talking about, <laughs> but oh, um, yeah. But yeah, this is honestly, I actually did pretty good. But yeah, so this is the finished product. <laughs> yeah yeah so now you see where i was doing at the bottom that you couldn't see before but honestly the liquifex for a hundred dollars a if it's lifetime a i'll take it but shoot i think that's about it um stay tuned for more videos on uh -uh, zoom zoom thank you stay tuned for more good behind videos we're on a season roll fellas ladies and gentlemen ladies yeah that's it so anyways thank you guys for watching i really do appreciate it stay tuned for more make sure you like comment subscribe don't forget to hit that bell to get notified i'm out